This video is about differentiating using the product rule. We use the product rule to differentiate when we've got two functions multiplied together. So in this case, we've got 5x, which is one function. We'll call that u. And we've got x plus 2 cubed, which is another function. And we'll call that v. So we've got two different functions. We've got u as 5x and we've got v as x plus 2 cubed. So the product rule says we can find dy dx by doing u dv dx plus v du dx. So where we've got two functions multiplied together, we do u dv dx plus v du dx. So we've got u as 5x, so du dx, so we're going to differentiate both of these du dx is 5 and dv dx is v differentiated. We're going to use the chain rule here. So we're going to differentiate around the bracket. So multiply by the power and take one off the power. And then we're going to multiply by the bracket differentiated. But that's just 1 in this case. So we're going to leave that as it is. So now we can work out dy dx and we're going to do that by doing u times dv dx, so these two multiplied together, plus v du dx, so these two multiplied together. So we're going to do u dv dx, so 5x times 3 times x plus 2 squared, so 5x times 3 will be 15x and then times x plus 2 squared, plus these two times together, so v times du dx, which will be 5 times x plus 2 cubed. So we don't need to simplify that anymore. That is dy dx, and that will be our answer. Okay, here's another couple of questions. I'm going to go through these two. And I'll give you two more to try by yourselves. Here we've got two functions multiplied together. So we're going to use the product rule again. So we've got u as 2x squared. And we'll have v as 3x minus 1 to the power of 4. So we're going to differentiate both of these. So du dx will be 4x and dv dx. So chain rule again, so differentiate around the bracket. And then multiply by the bracket differentiated, which is 3 in this case. So we'll just simplify that to 4 times 3 is 12 and we'll leave the bracket as it is. Then to find dy dx, we're going to do u times dv dx plus v times du dx. So dy dx, u times dv dx, so 2x squared times 12 will be 24x squared, and then we'll leave the bracket as it is, plus v du dx, which will be 4x times 3x minus 1 to the power of 4. And there's our dy dx, there's our answer. Okay, question 2. So again, two functions multiplied together. We've got x squared, so we'll have u equals x, x cubed even, u equals x cubed, and v equals 2x minus 3 to the power of 5. So we'll do du dx, which is 3x squared, and dv dx. So we're going to differentiate around the bracket and multiply by the bracket differentiated, which is 2. So we've got 10 on the outside. 2x minus 3 to the power of 4. So dy dx, we're going to do u times dv dx 
that's v times du dx. So dy dx. u times dv dx. So 10 times x cubed, it'd be 10x cubed. And then we'll leave the bracket as it is. Plus v times du dx. 3x squared on the outside. 2x minus 3 to the power of 5. And there's our answer. Okay, two for you to have a try at. So you've got two functions multiplied together. So differentiate them both. Then do u times dv dx plus v times du dx. Okay, the first one. So we'll have u equals 3x squared. And we'll have v is 2x minus 2 cubed. So we'll find du dx, which is going to be 6x, and dv dx. So we differentiate around the bracket, and times by the bracket differentiated, which is 2 in this case. So simplifying, 3, 2 to 6, leave the bracket as it is. So dy dx is going to be u dv dx plus v du dx. So dy dx, u dv dx, 3x squared times 6 will be 18x squared. And then 2x plus 2 squared. And then v du dx, so we'll just have 6x on the outside, 2x plus 2 cubed. 2x plus 2, all cubed. And there's our answer. Okay, question 2. So u is x squared. u is x squared. And v be 2x cubed plus 1 to the power of 4. So du dx is 2x. And dv dx, dv dx, so we differentiate around the bracket, so times by the power, take one off the power, and then multiply by the bracket differentiated, which is 6x squared in this case. So simplifying, we have 24x squared on the outside, 2x cubed plus 1 to the power of 3. So dy dx will be u times dv dx plus v times du dx. So u times dv dx, so 24x squared times x squared, we have 24x to the power of 4 times 2x cubed plus 1 cubed plus v times du dx which is 2x on the outside, 2x cubed plus 1 to the power of 4. And there's our answer. 